Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and today we are at MSI's Fan Meet where they are showcasing a bunch of really, really awesome products. Now all these products are related to PC gaming and VR gaming and of course all these things are being showcased to the world's okayest gamer. But I'm not the right person to explain all this to you. I have with me Abhay who's going to walk us through the details of some of the products on showcase Hi. out here. Yeah. So Abhay, welcome and uh, first of all, why don't you take us through some of the products we have here on display. Yeah, so first we have the GE, this one, okay. the GE62 Apache Pro. Okay. So this is like the world's first Pascal series laptop that you get. Okay. So MSI is the first company in the world to introduce Pascal series, that the 10 series graphic cards on their laptops. Okay. Earlier, you used to have like mobile series graphic card for laptops and the powerful ones for the desktop. So it's like you want to play powerful games, Okay. you go to a desktop, okay. you cannot come to a laptop because there was a lot of heat generated, you needed a lot of power, you needed a lot of space to fix up those graphic cards. But now, it's so compact and the co cooling capacity of our laptops are so cool that you don't even have to use our desktop. So okay. it's like just we are shattering the desktop performance with our laptops. Okay, okay. okay. This so laptop that you see here, okay. this has got a GTX 1060 GeForce. Okay. So it's like you can just play VR games, connect it, you don't even have to configure it, it's all VR ready. Okay. Now, you see the RGB keyboard here? Okay, yeah, it's lit. Yeah, yeah mm. it's lit, yeah. Mm. So it's, it's a steel series keyboard that you get, it's like a very good gaming keyboard. Okay. You don't have to connect a di different keyboard just to play a game. Okay. Now, the RGB keyboard you can set like 60, 16 million colors. Okay. And number of colors you want to do, like RGB, 255, 255, 255. So essentially to your gaming preferences of whatever you want yes. the keyboard to look like, yes. it will. Yes, yes. So okay. now, I'm just showcasing my laptop, I put it on RGB. Let's say I'm playing a game, I just press one button, so it goes off to some other mode. Let's okay. say I press one more button, it goes off so, to some other mode. So I'll just show you of the SteelSeries engine that we have here. Okay. Yeah. Now, this RGB is not just for show. Okay. It can be used for gaming as well. Okay. I'll give you an example. Mm. Let's say I'm playing CS. Mm. I have my life, mm. I have my ammo, I have my kills. Okay. I can set one part to be my life, one part to be my ammo and one part to be my kills. Okay. So my life goes off, the lights go off. Okay. The ammos are getting over, the ammos will and let's say I get killed, so I can set my keyboard to just blink once. Okay. So it is essentially dynamic lighting based on the situation yes. of the game, but is this yes. limited to any specific games or does it work no, with it all the games? No, it works on all games. Okay. You can set it, you can set your scenario here. Okay. And based on these scenarios, hmm. you can set up different gaming series. Okay. Like, see, like I'm doing. And it's just not steady keyboard. Let's hmm. say you want it to be a breathing one. Hmm. You can put it as a breathing one. Hmm. Let's say you're playing some audio, you can put it on an audio, it will be so it'll pulse audio. based pulse on the audio. Based, yeah. Let's say you want it, uh, want it as a wave, you can have it as a wave, it'll change colors. Okay. So can you quickly elaborate on some of the important specifications and price of this laptop? Like the display size, resolution, uh, the graphics card, RAM, hard drive, just some key specifications and price. Yeah, so this has currently got a 16 GB DDR4 RAM, Okay. a VDDR5 graphic card, Okay. and also the display that you see here, it's true color. Okay. So now you must be wondering, what's true color, yeah. it's 100% sRGB. Okay. Now you must be wondering, what is sRGB, I don't know. So it's like, let's say I have some, I, let's say I'm an enthusiastic photographer, hmm. now I take a photo of the sky. Hmm. So even now if you see outside, the sky, you can hmm. see it's like white. So I have to take it, take it on my PC, I do some color correction and hmm. then I print it. Now yeah. when I print it, I see, oh, this blue, it is not good. So what I'll do is, if I have the sRGB, hmm. so the way I want, the, the hmm. color that I see here, hmm. this I can get out as my print out photo. Oh, okay. So yeah. it, it's so essentially it's as true to color as color yes, can be. Yes, yes. So it's true color. Okay. Also, we, we have like different modes that you can set up. Okay. Let's say I'm working at night, I don't want bright. Hmm. The bright light, it hits my eye. So hmm. I just can just open with one button, I can go anti-blue. Let's say I'm a gamer, I want my colors to be vibrant, I just go to the vibrant mode, gamer mode, then I go into sRGB mode. Let's say I'm a designer, because these are like high performance graphic cards, so you don't limit this to gaming. Okay. You can take it forward, you can work on it, you can design on it, so this can be used for designing. So designers also use these laptops. Okay. Let's say you're working on an office, 
let's say you're watching a movie now you have a very good dyna audio speakers here so you can use it for movies as well okay now the Di dyna audio I'll, generally we have like one speaker two speakers but this are this has four speakers plus one subwoofer okay and can you show where the speakers and subwoofer is located yeah on this it's on the in here okay on this okay but if you go i can just explain where it where they are like here it's here Okay. On there, that's there. On there, different positioning on different, different positioning machines. Different positioning depends on the model. Now this is Apache Pro. Okay. So this is like costing one thirty nine nine hundred. Okay. This one. Okay. So and it's available on Flipkart, Amazon, Paytm, and all our channel partners. Both online and offline. Yes. Okay. So just to quickly run through some of the specifications of the Apache Pro, it has Windows 10, the Skylink i7 6700HQ, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6 GB of DDR5 memory of 15.6 inch, Full HD display, uh, anti glare, uh, DDR4 16 GB, right? That's 28 yeah. GB yeah. uh, cards. So that's and of course uh, 256 uh, GB an SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. So a lot of space boot up will be faster because of the SSD and the price is 1,39,900 approximately, 1,40,000 with two year warranty. So yeah. what all is covered in the warranty? So basically if the first year is a global warranty, you take it anywhere in the world. Hmm. You can get your laptop repaired for free. Okay. But the second year is complimentary only for India. Only for so India. So if you buy it from India, you get like one year global and one year in India. Okay. Cool. So let's move on now to the second Next product. One. What do we have? Now, the USB of this product. This is this is what I love. This is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. This is the Steel Series. Steel Series Pro. Okay. Now this is like the world's slimmest laptop. Okay. I can say. Okay. See, I'll just show you how thin it is. So it's this much. That's and this weighs like 1.9 kgs. Wow. That is slim, especially once you call it a gaming device. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, if you see the thickness, it's just 17.7 mm. Okay. And it's a 15 inch laptop. Okay. Full HD. So anti what are the specifications of yeah, this one? The specs are similar to the Apache Pro. Okay. This, even this has got the GTX 1060. This has got the Steel Series keyboard. This has got the Dyna audio speakers. Nahimik, yeah, now Nahimik is very special for us because now let's say you're playing a game, okay. CS for example. Huh. Now while playing CS, you want to know where your enemy is coming from. Hmm. So we can set Nahimik to detect the direction of audio. Okay. So actually what it will do is, it will actually put a compass onto your screen. Uh, I can showcase you there. Okay. So it will detect where the sound is coming from. So let's say you're playing here okay. and you see the sound is coming from here, you can directly aim here. Okay. That is one best thing. Okay. Now, one more thing I could I can tell you that this is this has got a cooler booster Trinity. Okay. Normally on a laptop, I'll just ask you on a laptop, what are the num uh, num what is the number of fans that you have? Generally about 2 I guess two. at best. This has got 3. Okay. <laughs> now, number of heat pipes 2 max. Yes, 2. Th this has got 5. Okay. Wow. So now, even even the blades, hmm. it has got like 41 blades on one fan. So you can imagine, and also the fa the blades that the, those are designed in such a way like a turbine. It pushes the air inside because you can imagine it's a th slim laptop. There's no space, especially for gaming. Then the heat generation yes, is yes. high. Yes, yes. So it needs to have a very good cooling system, okay. or else when you play, it's like very hot in here. Okay. Now, we I can we can also see if you if you just uh, let me let me just. Yeah, here you can see the fans. One, two, and three. Yes. Yeah. And now, if you see the fans are not mm. running. Yeah. Because the software is set set in such a way that up till 60 degrees, it is so efficient you don't need a fan. But then, does a does a gamer feel the heat no. around the keyboard if you, once? If you can you can showcase it now. So this laptop has been on for a while. I have seen a few people play games on it. And it's just when we started shooting this video that we asked uh, for the laptop to be kept. And it is uh, relatively cool. There is no... You I can show really you the temperatures here. Yeah, so you can see the active temperature of the CPU and the GPU. The uh, fans, RPM of the fans. Yeah, so that's at about 1700 RPM, which is relatively normal for a laptop running in ideal mode. Now, I just turned on the cooler booster mode. Okay. So now it will increase the RPM. Now you can see the fans will run faster. Okay. Wow. So essentially, uh, the Steel C the uh, Stealth Pro is this one, yeah, right? Yeah. This the is Stealth Pro. 
Stealth that Pro and the specifications, Pro. the specifications are almost the same as the Apache Pro. This one is of course priced higher. It is priced at 1,77,900. Yes. And just to go over the specifications for our audience, it has the uh, Skylink i7-6700HQ, GTX 1066 uh, uh, GB DDR5, 15.6 inch full HD, anti-glare display, DDR416 uh, GB of RAM, same 256 GB SSD and a 1TB hard drive. Now, about the SSD, hmm. I just want to add, huh. these are not normal MSATA SSDs that you see. They are M.2. Yes, NVMe. Yes. So it's like you get like 1.5 times more speed than MSATA. And also we have done the IDA tests on that laptop. So okay. it's just to check the quality of the SSDs we have. Okay. So we get the least number of spikes okay. while doing that. Perfect. So now we've seen two of your laptops. Yeah. Can we move on to the third one, yes, which has uh, some interestingly unique features that we were talking yeah. about off camera? So this is the world's first eye tracking laptop. Okay. You can say. Okay. This is from Toby. Okay. Toby is well known for eye tracking systems. Okay. Generally, they used to have those huge systems okay. that you have to connect in your room. Okay. Now you, they have compacted it so much that it's on a laptop and you can use it for gaming. Okay. Okay, so uh, can you quickly just uh, elaborate a little bit on eye tracking because uh, before we were seeing that when the gamer looks in the top left corner, the map yeah. is revealed. Can you just look at the top left? Can you look at the top left? Top left? So as you guys can see, as uh, the gamer looks on the top left corner of the screen, the map gets revealed a little more. Uh, and uh, can you elaborate a few more of the eye tracking features you are talking about with games like Assassin's Creed? So where and how can a gamer use the eye tracking features of this laptop? Yeah, so... It's like you don't have to use your mouse to show the direction to the character. Okay. Wherever you see, hmm. the character moves in that direction. Okay. Okay. So I, I'll just I'll just uh, give you one small briefing. Let's say you're playing. Let's say you're playing Assassin's Creed. Hmm. And while playing Assassin's Creed, you want to show your director that uh, uh, show your character that you have to move in the hmm. other direction. You just look into that direction and it's like infinite direction display. Okay. So the character will go to that direction. Now let's say you want to aim at something. Hmm. You just look at that character. You look at that point and it will automatically detect the direction and the point where you want to shoot. Okay. And it will help you aim. Okay. Better. So it is safe to say that in the same way as a VR headset tracks the movement of your eyes and your head to look at a particular enemy, a particular spot yes. on screen, it is similar but without the effects of a headset. Yes. You are looking at uh, the monitor. So on the monitor, where is the eye tracking uh, so gear? What you, exactly does it use? If you, if you see here, yeah. there are three sensors here. Yes. These ones. These yeah. are by Toby. Okay. So basically when you set on, hmm. you just first calibre it. So it will detect your eyes. Let's say, oh uh, yeah, the best part, you don't have to take out your lenses or eyeglasses to play this game. Okay. You just play it like as it is. Yeah, and, and it calibrates whether you have glasses yes. or not. Yes, yes. You can calibrate it using your glasses, mm. using your lenses. Okay. And it's not just the games. Okay. Let's say I'm on Windows huh. and I want to use my Toby for the window. Okay. So I can set up, let's say I have two. Okay. Let's say I have two windows hmm. side by side hmm. and when I look at my right window, I can scroll there. When I look at my left window, I can scroll there. So you don't have to take your mouse each time here, each time there. And also click. you can set it up. Let's say I see that fo folder hmm. and just click once hmm. so that folder gets selected. Okay. I see the other folder, I click once, the other folder gets selected. So it's like you're using it not only for games, also for your... Productivity. productivity but does it yeah. work with uh, so let's say there's an app like uh, Photoshop and all which requires a lot of movement on the part of the mouse from the user yes can yes. you use this yes. uh, with because that this as is well? a Windows feature that you can you're using okay so it's like let's say you're, you want here to click at that point you just look at that point and you click it okay yeah. perfect so now, one more thing that yeah. there's a very good thing the display here it's 120 Hertz ah so a higher so refresh rate higher for refresh rate and the response rate is like 5 ms Okay. So you won't see that stuttering. Okay. Yeah. So uh, can you elaborate on the price and specifications of this one? So it's uh, essentially uh, the Dominator Pro Toby, which is what we're looking at, <coughs> priced at 2,19,900. Uh -huh. This also has the Skylink i7-6700HQ, GTX 1070, 8GB DDR5. The display is 17.3 inches, so bigger than the one that we've seen full HD again. Like you said, it has a 120Hz refresh rate. DDR4 again, 16GB of uh, RAM. Again, M.2 SATA 256GB SSD and a 1TB 
hard drive. So uh, this laptop is again relatively thicker than the other two that we've seen. Yes, yes. Th this laptop weighs around 3.4, 3.5 and with the charger it's like 5 kg. Okay, so it's not necessarily that mobile but yeah, it is but of course yeah. because of the eye tracking feature would it be right the, to the say? The eye tracking feature as well as this has got the 1070. Yeah, so, so a lot more, more space. more power, more power and this can be expandable up to 64 GB. Of RAM? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yes, but this one starts again, once again, to reiterate the price for you guys, it starts at 2,20,000, that's 2,19,900 yeah. to be precise. Yeah. And one more feature I'd like to add, let's yeah. say all our, all our systems, they mm. have the killer double shot. Okay. Now, what is killer, killer double, double shot? shot. <laughs> yeah. So these LAN cards, uh, I'll, I'll give you one example, let's say you're using mm. some normal laptop mm. and when you connect Wi-Fi, yeah. the LAN card cannot be used. Yeah. When you collect LAN, the Wi-Fi cannot be used. Okay. But in here, you can use both at a time. So when you're connected to LAN, Wi-Fi, it will optimize yes. the speed that yes. you're getting. Yes, now I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm downloading a game. It's a 60 GB game. Hmm. So I can connect my LAN through it. So yeah. I get like one GBPS downloading speed on hmm. the LAN. Yes. And at the same time, I want to do my social networking. I want to do the streaming. Hmm. So I can use my Wi-Fi connection, which hmm. will not hinder and affect my downloading speed for okay. the game. So, so it's like you are using 1.866 GBPS of downloading speed that is that is allowing. Does yeah. this work with separate internet connections? So if someone yes. like me, I have two different internet connections, yes. one specifically for my gaming and yes. downloading needs and one just generic for streaming and stuff, yes. both from different service providers yes. as well. So will yes. it connect so to both? I'll, I'll connect my LAN to my LAN card and my mobile Wi-Fi or hotspot to the Wi-Fi. And it works with And both. it works well. Okay. Perfect. Once again, just reiterate the price of uh, the Dominator Pro. It is 2,19,900. And of course, we're going to the last machine now, which is in the corner, which uh, you can see people are playing VR games on it. We have the HTC Vive. So let's just go and take a look at that. So you can actually trouble people playing games in VR and they actually don't know what you are doing to them. That's one of the disadvantages of a VR headset, of course. But nonetheless, as you can see, uh, the player here is playing a game uh, using the HTC Vive and the Vive controls. And uh, we have experienced VR before. But Abhay, can you just run us yeah, through the yeah. machine that this is connected to? Yeah. So this is the, the, the VR and the two displays that you see here. This is called Matrix display. So okay. we have connected these, all the three systems. To okay. our GT83 okay. VR. Now this is like like a monster. <laughs> it's it's the most powerful machines that you can see. Okay. So in here I have the one 1070 SLI. Okay. So just for those that aren't aware, SLI means two of the graphics card are working in tandem to produce uh, yes. the output. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, so you can imagine the kind of heat that is generated yes. while using so many processes at a time. So it's like you can use like three systems, three external monitors onto the GT83, okay. three external monitors on GT72, okay. two external monitors on GS63 and two external monitors on GE62. Okay. So how is it possible hmm. to connect these many displays? Yeah. So each one of our laptops has one HDMI, hmm. one mini display port. Yeah. Also, Especially the GT series, hmm. they have the Thunder Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt displays are also compatible. USB. Yeah, so it's like a multi-port. Also, you can connect your display to it. Okay. So let's say you're, you want to charge your mobile fastly, you can just connect it and go it off. It supports that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this this laptop, you see, it's, it doesn't look like a laptop to you. It looks Does like it? a little monster. Yeah, <laughs> because the keyboard that you see here, this is a fully mechanical gaming keyboard that you see. Hmm. So you can so actually feel it when you start using it. Of course, I'm just uh, doing yeah. a little bit of time pass with it, kind of literally right <laughs> now, just to show you guys the feel. And if you, like he said, press all the keys together, it still recognizes all the, uh, all the keys in an input, just the way you, gamers really love their mechanical keyboards. You can actually feel the difference when you use the keyboard out here. So normally in any other keyboard, let's say only six buttons to seven, a maximum eight buttons get detected. But in here, I can like detect all the all the buttons at a time. Yeah. So that's the best part. Okay. And this this keyboard is supplied by Steel Series. Okay. And also this has got the Cherry Switch. Okay. So for those of you who don't know what is Cherry Switch, this is the response that you get. Hmm. This is because of the 
cherry switch. Cherry switch. And it can be manually uh, changed based on your preferences? Yes. yes okay. Yes. So, also, uh, all our laptops have the Steel Series engine. That's the game sense that okay. we talked about. Hmm. The RGB color, different things. Yeah. So now, each and every key on this, hmm. it's programmable. To do a specific task that yes. you would like. Let's say you want to press like Control, Shift, Alt, A, B, C, D at a time. Hmm. It's not possible while playing. Hmm. So you can let, just set it up. Let's say I press one and I all these things get activated okay. just like that. So just as the most basic example, if I want to close an app by pressing Alt F4 yes. rather than pressing Alt and F4 or yes. Alt Shift yes. B yes. for you can set it at specific one, pace two, like, yeah. three. And it's not just one setting. Hmm. You can have like different layers. You can have like 10 layers, 20 layers. So you just do hmm. function F2 and hmm. you change that layer. Okay. So okay. It's very fast. So, uh, so as most of you can see right now, we have two monitors connected and a VR headset, the HTC Vive is being played on this machine. So just to quickly run through the specifications of uh, this machine now, the one we have here is uh, the Titan SLI, the GT83VR. <coughs> 6RE Titan SLI and uh, it costs 337900 and just to run you guys through the specifications it has a Skylink i7 6820HK CPU the GTX 1070 in SLI which is 2 8GB cards with uh, DDR5 memory it has an 18.4 inch full HD 1080p anti-glare display DDR4 memory 8GB sticks 4 sticks of those 32GB 32 32 wow yeah. that's a lot expandable of, uh, up to 64 expandable up to 64 again the N M E M.2 SSD 256 GB and a one terabyte hard drive. And uh, so the question that I have is why is the top of the laptop so thick? What's housing yeah, yeah. there? So normally you see your laptop, it's the motherboard, it's all over. Yeah. But in here, it's just this much. Okay. So, so the, this is like the heart or the brain, you can say. So let's say you want. And this much space is dedicated just to the keyboard and the keyboard. trackpad. So, because this is a very, very powerful machine. Okay. So there's a lot of heat that okay. can be generated. Now you see, we have been playing like VR for like two hours. Yeah. And we have our cooler booster running. Okay. So the temperatures that you see here, it's only 53 degrees. Yeah. And just to reassure you guys, I am actually running my hand all over the place on the top. On the side, you can feel the fan really exhausting uh, out there. But so on the keyboard, you feel nothing. You can feel the fans on the side. On the back, the heat is being pushed out, and uh, yeah. when you push it out, it goes a little more silent. When you pu when you turn it off, and the heat uh, dissipation, the feeling of the heat coming out has also gone down, and it's become a little more quieter. But you really can't feel a lot of heat, especially on the keyboard, where if you're gaming, you're going to be spending a lot of time in this area. You can feel no heat, and once you uh, switch it on again, you can actually feel the system putting uh, pushing out the heat to get maximum performance from this beast of a machine so yeah. one more thing i would like okay to add. go on now this has got a, a overclocking processor oh, okay so normally to overclock a processor you download third party apps hmm. but in here you don't have to do anything it's just function f7 and you're done it and it's automatically turbo boosted so hmm. let's say you want to see it here it's already turbo boosting okay you can go to sports mode you can go to comfort mode, comfort mode eco mode to save battery okay so it's like with just click off a button, you go turbo boosting and you're in there. Okay, and what? Full speed. Since most of these are laptops, what yeah. is the battery life you can expect from a beast like this? So, from a beast like this, if you run on eco mode, you can easily run it for three hours, four hours. Okay, and depends you, on the applications that you're. And running. if you're putting it on full power mode to play games at the highest possible settings. So I, I'll show you one thing. Uh, mm. The turbo mode and the sports mode, they won't run unless and until you connect it to AC. Okay. So it's like when you're connected to AC, hmm. you're like fully inside the game. Yeah. And even this, this is not that heavy that we feel. It's just 4.3 kgs. Okay. So you can see. Hmm. Also, I can show you the, uh, all the wires are connected. So I can show you the subwoofer in this. Okay. Yeah, it's here. At the base. Yeah, it's at the base. It has got like four Dyna Audio speakers. Okay. So Dyna Audio is the company that supplies to Bugatti, okay. as we know. So yeah. we can see the quality of speakers that we have. Now, as I said, since hmm. we, we, we are having such a powerful system, so we need to have a very, very, very good cooling system. Okay. As we spoke hmm. about uh, the number of fans we have generally on the laptops, yeah. it's like one. Hmm. Now we have two. Hmm. We have three. Yeah. This has got three fans. Huh. Number of heat pipes, we had like five. Five at the best. Six. Huh. 
that was like 13 yeah just like 15 15 heat pipes and three fans trying to keep this beast cool and it it actually does feel it so the machine has been running for a while and there is no heat that we have felt on it at least experiencing it so far out here yeah so, so we have also done a few tests just to check how the processor uh, how the SSD works. Okay. So we did this while downloading a few games. Hmm. So you can see this was done recently, just a few days back. Okay. So we were downloading on Steam. Yeah. At that time, we got 3,111 Mbps. So normally you get like 1,000, 1,500 huh. Mbps yeah. downloading, and with a lot of spikes. Yep. And the speed goes on decreasing. Okay. But in here, you can see it's very constant. Yep. Now, just to just for our immature users, we can just show off. Normally, what is the time taken for copying a 4 GB file? About five minutes, I guess. USB okay. 3. Yeah, USB 3, five minutes. I'll just copy, I'll just duplicate this file. Okay. So I'll just control C here. Uh -huh. I'll just control V here. 2.1 GBPS was what it showed up at, yes. But. Uh, so what is the speed when you copy it to an external drive? Of course, yeah, that's limited so by depends, USB. Yeah, it depends upon the USB that you have connected, the, the speed of the drive that you're using. No, we have something called as X-Boost. Normally, let's say a system, uh, uh, let's say I connect a USB and hmm. it, it, it's giving me like 100 Mbps. Hmm. So we have something called as USB boost, huh. X-Boost, yeah. or storage boost. Yeah. So, once we turn on, hmm. the speed goes up by 30%. Okay. So it actually helps you using your USB as well. So if you have a USB 3 drive, which is yes. the best, then you're going to get optimal yes. speeds for yes. copying and pasting it. Yeah. Wow, that's great. And uh, also, I would like hmm. to add the GE series hmm. and the GT series that we see here. Yeah. All have HDD 1 TB. Yeah. But that's not the normal one. It's 7200 it 70, RPM. Yeah. Yes. So you can get a very good speed. Now, if you see the GS series, that has got a slim hard disk. Yes. So, yeah. of course, that's yeah. it. Okay, great, Abhay. Thank you so much. Just again to reiterate the price of this last machine, it's three lakhs thirty-seven thousand nine hundred. This is MSI's gaming lineup that we just uh, showed you guys. They are available both online and offline. And uh, where we are today is just a fan event where gamers can come and experience MSI's gaming products in their full glory. Abhay, thank you so much for joining us today. It thank was a pleasure you. speaking with you. And uh, I'm going to make you people a little jealous and go enjoy some of these games. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.